and we're slowly getting towards 100 and we'll see how much above 100 we can go hopefully 100, 170 that's the the plan <music> the battery right now or no oh yeah yeah i basically hit the supercharger again so that it would heat the battery up but i've been heating the battery up for a while so is that going to change the data no because it didn't actually turn the the warming on okay i heated the battery because i was driving around heating the battery up by speeding up and slowing down that's one way to, to heat the battery up the other way is to be driving it at highway speeds you'll often have a warm enough battery before you pull into the supercharger so the battery is already kind of at a, at a good temperature because I was doing a bit of that speeding up and slowing down thanks to Bjorn Nyland and all his tips. So we've arrived with 14% and we're going to plug in and see if we can charge at 170 kilowatts. So let's get out there. Okay, so we plugged in. We're in the car, we're charging. It's ramping up to 90 kilowatts and we're slowly getting towards 100 and we'll see how much above 100 we can go hopefully 100, 170 that's the the plan we're above 100 and a lot of this will get cut out because this is boring all right 120 this is probably the fastest this car has charged yet. 25. It's charging at 900 kilometers an hour. We needed to come down here with under 10% apparently. So it looks like we're not going to get to 170. We really tried. We had the battery warmed up. We, we tried to... Uh, make sure we got as low as possible but we just didn't arrive with a low enough state of charge it's actually kind of hard to get a super high rate of charge because you really don't want to come down with single digit percentage here is our charging graph for this session and the point i want to make here what you need to do to get a higher charging rate is you need to first of all arrive at a lower state of charge than we did probably six to nine percent 14% just wasn't low enough, although we did get a pretty good charging rate, and that was because the battery was warm. The Tesla Model 3 charges faster when the battery pack is warm. Driving at highway speeds will usually do the trick. Uh, you can also do some accelerating combined with regenerative braking, and that can help. Uh, you can tell when you look at the dots underneath the gear section, those dots will be gone. When it starts to get really cold though, you can't really expect that. Remember, share the data. It's electrifying. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please subscribe and share if you like the video. And if you do like it, then hit that like button and comment below any comments you have for us. And if you wanna buy a Tesla, I mean, please buy a Tesla, they're awesome. Use our Tesla referral.